Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, part three of my hashtag 30 cards in 30 days 23. Uh, if you do want to go and check out how far I've come on my little event, my little challenge uh, for June, then I am posting a card a day or trying to post a card a day, although several sometimes attack me at once. <laughs> Um, on hashtag uh, 30 cards in 30 days 23 on Instagram so if you put that into the search you'll go and you can go and follow uh, along there if you wish to do that if you do want to post any of your own things that you do in along on there as well you're quite welcome to do that as well uh, there's a couple of ladies that are joining in with me doing 30 things they're not doing cards uh, Louise Loves Crafting is uh, doing one chemo cap a day and she's managing to keep up so she's hoping to do 30 in June so that's wonderful and Arden's H uh, is doing a coaster a day and he's managing to keep up doing a coaster a day as well so yay well done to those uh, people that are doing the little challenge with me and of course i am doing my little giveaway so you have to watch the videos to get the hashtag word to put in the comments so yeah keep watching and uh, we'll have another one in this one so this time i've got six cards so we're going from number 10 to number 15 i believe yes to number 15 so we'll get the drills put away on these uh yeah most of them are just standard crystals i don't know whether we did have any slightly larger ones we might have a special i don't know but anyway i've got my craft buddy uh, numbers here already my crystals with the craft buddy numbers on it to put away in those little bags as we go along and don't forget at the end of june shortly after the end of june um, I will be doing my prize draw, so all those that have put the correct hashtag on the correct video uh, will get to choose from either a unicorn or a car, A4 size craft buddy card with uh, all the crystals in and everything and also a little goodie bag to go with it as well so that's just my little thank you for watching and uh, yeah a thank you for staying with me for my little challenge during june so it goes from the 1st of june to the 30th and i am aiming to do 30 cards and fingers crossed so far we are on target so yay okay so we will start at number 10 and work our way through Sorry, these are all Christmas cards. I'll say it quietly. But yeah, you do need to get them done early. And uh, last year, I did get, I did do quite a few in uh, July. I decided 31 Christmas cards in 31 days in July. But things happened, hubby's health-wise and things last year. Again, yeah, best laid plans and all that. So I didn't quite get the uh, 31 done. I think I did maybe 20. Can't quite remember. Um, so these are some of the ones I've got left over because I have so much to do in December and it's so wonderful um, items to make up and presents to do and things that I decided that I wanted to get my cards definitely done earlier this year. So in with the 30 cards I've got to do for June, then I've got some Christmas in as well. So this is the first one. I love this. This is just so pretty. Look at that. It's two little robins and they're home in a wreath. Don't they look happy? Oh, that's definitely a look of love, isn't it, between them? And I love all the different colours, all the different greens on the wreath here. Oh, I've got an extra drill there. Yeah, that's an extra drill that's just decided to attach itself. Uh, oh, it looks like we do have a special here. We've got some uh, little marquees in the green there, look. So I will have to get my other box out. And I think, oh, these are slightly larger rounds as well. And I think I added the A, B. Well, I've got another one there. Look what I have I been doing. Oh, these crystals have been having a party in the bag while I've not been looking. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> it was a lovely one to do. Uh, yeah, we've got all the pine cones as well. I think they look really uh, clever the way that they've been done. But I think, yeah, it didn't have um, an A, B on this one, an Aurora Borealis, which is your... Uh, coated gem just makes it sparkle a little bit more and uh, I decided that I wanted the AB white so I used some of my spares for that rather than just using a flat white because 
yeah i just think christmas needs sparkle um, wherever i can unless it's for the fair on an animal or feathers on an animal and um, i do always try and use my white ab crystals because i do think they just look a little bit more christmassy and the red bow it's even got three colors on the red bow which you know i said at craft buddies charting's great they will always go an extra color rather than just two they'll usually be three and sometimes even four so I think that's lovely that will probably be made into a slightly larger card by cutting the front off maybe putting an edging on and putting it on an eight by eight square card or i'll maybe put it onto an a4 card i don't know i haven't decided who it'll be going to and what i'll be doing yet but yeah that is that one so let's have a look what drills we got in this one and then i can put all my numbers back in the correct order as well so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten sorry that didn't make sense i'm in my bags because i'm reusing uh, my bags as i go along because the uh, there's numbers on each of the craft buddy cards there so this one's one to 14 so i have bags with one to 14 on and as i open bag number one which is a i put all the drill the code number one or a into bag number one and i'm working like that and it is working a lot better for me so i will continue to do it but obviously once i've used them i do need to then take them out so i can put them back into number order and use them on my next ones hope that made sense right and then 11, uh, 12, and then 13 and 14. Uh, this, ooh, we've only got one of those specials look there. And that's the little uh, marquees in the green there. So, And then I've got the other numbers. Just keep them all together with a little paper clip. Okay, so put those back in there for now. I'm not going to put away the normal drills for now uh, because it takes just far too long. And uh, watching me just put little bags of drills away for these because i have to do them one at a time yeah i don't think it's the best watch in my opinion anyway <laughs> let me know what you think right so number 11 when i look on my little key code is number 27 in the craft buddy gems so we need 27 okay oh let me grab a tray don't want to be spilling right so number 27 so we can get those put away take a little bit of the elastic out there okay yeah i'm loving doing these cards and even though they are christmas cards <laughs> a bit from my comments last time there's quite a few people starting christmas early um, and starting christmas shopping early as well which is never a bad thing uh, and then m is number 30 so let's find number 30 okay yeah spreading the cost out i must admit we tend to uh, buy what i call little daft bits you know when you see something that's like a key ring or a place map or, or even a bookmark <laughs> sorry i'm going through my um i'm going through all my crystal things aren't i all my diamond painting projects at the minute uh no so you know when you're out and you just think oh i bet they'd like that and i bet they'd like that we don't think oh i'll come back and get it later anymore because half the time they're not there anymore so we always just go and buy things now when we see them and uh, we do like little just little extra packages maybe one main present or money or whatever uh, for the kids and the grandkids and then just um all little bits and pieces just so they've got something extra to open as well and we buy those throughout the year right so this is my special drill box all nicely flattened out and neatened a little bit uh, it's based on uh, rebecca admore zest's uh, storage system and i do always in every video put her link so if you do want to go and see her videos um and see how she started hers off rebecca is the expert and she sets it all up so she's got lots of videos on how she set it up and obviously she has her little shop as well where um if you want to you can buy the little bits and pieces to make up this system as well so yeah go and check out her, rebecca uh, it's called Admore's S now. She used to be four kids at 147. Right, so N is Y078. So I need to be in reds. So we're looking for reds and I want large rounds and see if we've got a number on it. None of these have numbers on other than any that were Craft Buddy original ones. And there you are. Look, I've got a Y078. 
so that is a craft buddy one so that can go with all its friends so my little system does work sometimes oh that's white so i don't want to be putting it back in white let me get it back in red large round oh, let me grab my little card look i've got my little card i should be using that there is only one spare on this one though so I just need to add the one into there. Is the one or is the two? Oh no, there's one and a little bit of um, extra plastic in there as well. So yeah, we'll add the bit of plastic, that's fine. And I will be keeping this little bag. Oh no, it stayed in there because uh, it does have crystal art on it. And I do like anything that's branded and got names and numbers and things on. Uh, and what I can do is just add a number one or two or whatever on the front of there and make up a set of these one to however many I've got. So that is that one. Put that one back in large rounds. And then we're looking in greens for marquees. And it's an M for marquee, 56. So I want marquees in the greens. And see if we have one with a number 56 on it. We've got a 57. And we've got a 59. And we've got a 16. But we haven't got a 56, so I need to do a new bag for this one. Okay, so grab a bag. And I want a pen. Oh, excuse me. I think somebody's got a new toy for Christmas revving their engine. And I'll grab some little stickers. So this one is M58. I'll put all 58. So it says on there. Oh dear, I think uh, over the road's having a play with the car. Never mind. And we'll add all of these into there. It's got a round one in here as well, but we'll leave it in there. If it's fought its way to get in there, it can stay in there for now. Okay, so that's another little bag that we can keep. Put those over there for now. So that is that one done. Okay. Right, just pop those on one side for now. So that is our lovely little robins kitted down. And uh, I keep those bags in there. And then I've got all those to put away in my normal drills. And card number 11. So this one is a full crystal, well, Apart from the black, which is your standard, uh, you tend to find, because any of the blacks that you get tend to have a silver backing uh, rather than it being like a, a crystal uh, black. I don't think they do a crystal black. So it always looks like a standard black anyway, um, whether you get it with the silver backing or not. And then this one is all crystals. And I just think that's so pretty. It's two little robins. Do you think he's serenading a look? It's like Romeo and Juliet. She's like Juliet on the balcony look and Romeo down here. Hope they don't have the same ending. That's probably not a good analogy, is it? <laughs> and then all the different colours in the little holly berry leaves. So, yeah, oh, you've got to be careful when you land on holly. You don't want to get uh, prickled with the spikes on the holly. But I love the shading on the lamp. It really does look as though that bulb is glowing. Really pretty. Actually, she's probably keeping warm because I would think that lamp would be quite warm with that bulb on, wouldn't it? And then all the background, the snowy background, and they're all fluffed up look so that uh, they're staying warm, keeping the warmth in the feathers. So, oh, I love that one. So, yeah, that came out really well. So let's have a look at these crystals and see what we've got. I don't think there was any uh, special shapes or anything in this one. I believe that these were all just the standard crystal. Okay, so number one is standard black. Well, I can put those in with my standard black jar. Look, it's filling up my toffee jar. I wonder how long it'll take me to fill it. <laughs> Okay, so that's number one. Put that there. Get rid of the little bit of paper. And put the lid back on that. Don't want to spill those. That would be a disaster. But look, you can see there, some of those have actually got the silver backing on and some of them just are all the straight black. 
and if you look at them side by side uh, when they're the right way up you can't tell which are which it's only the silver backing that uh, tells them apart so yeah so number two where's my little key code what have i done with my key code it's underneath liz you've not taken it out yet phew that was a bit of a panic <laughs> Uh, number one is a number one, which is a very full bag of your just your standard silver crystals. Uh, as you can see, these bags uh, are the ones with the crystal art on, and I've just added the number over the letter that was already on the bag. So don't throw anything away. I like to keep things. Okay, so that's number two. Try and keep them in order. So. When I do my next card, I'll already have a set of numbers all in order. Uh, number th three is C, and that is 004. Oh, this one's getting really full. Um, I don't think I'm going to get those into there. Shall I start another bag? I'll start another bag for now. Um, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do with them. I do have a red jar but I'm not quite sure whether it's this colour or not. I think it is, but I'm not going to tip them in for now. I'm just going to keep them separately. Okay. As you can see, it doesn't matter what size uh, bags the numbers are on because I'm only just then reusing them again. And I'm just going to take a few of these out of this one. So that bag's not quite so full. I really ought to look for my numbers, hadn't I? See if I've got any around. Keep them in nice order. I should have done that on the last one that I did, but never mind. So we want a zero zero four. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm doing too much talking today. I'm losing my voice. Okay. All right. Yeah. We had a uh, friend came last night who uh, does our hair. She's a hairdresser. And since hubby's been poorly, she comes to the house now to see us. And then we're really lucky that she can do our hair for us as well. So, yeah, that was nice to see her. And uh, she has the little pooch, Lolly Lou, little shit so dog. So Millie had a great play as well. Thoroughly enjoyed herself. So probably all the talking I've done last night and then making a video today. My voice is just going whoop. <laughs> Right, so number four, D, is number 13. So have we got a number 13? We have. Let me put this card in, look. Start using these cards. Do it properly, Liz. Yay. <laughs> okay. And I think I've got a couple more Christmas cards to do. And then I'm on to jungle animals with my cards. It is nice getting them all done. They do look pretty when they're all done, but I say I have an awful job of uh, getting rid of them or, well, not getting rid of them, but sending them to people. Uh, yeah, I do like to uh, keep them because they're just so pretty. <laughs> okay, number 15. Yeah, when uh, Lottie arrived at the house last night, she got out of the car uh, and instead of coming into the house here, she decided to go straight across and say hello to our neighbour who was out uh, tinkering with his car. So, yeah, we had to go, had to go and uh, find her and say, you know, come on back, come on, don't be bothering people. And then she went and uh, did what little dogs are apt to do on uh, my friend who takes Millie out for a walk in the morning on his grass. It's, it's like she knew that that's where... Millie goes and it's like I'm gonna claim this as my territory so that it was quite funny he, he looked out the window and he said oh now look I've got enough of that I don't need anybody else's <laughs> oh dear they are funny there's definite one-upmanship on them when uh, Millie and Lottie get together you know they're definitely they love playing and they'll run around together and they'll torment each other but there's definitely quite a bit of a one-upmanship going on there as well so yeah we do have a bit of a giggle and uh, yeah Lottie's coming this weekend so that'll be even more fun so i'll uh, get some pictures and maybe a few little videos and things hopefully we'll manage to get out and uh, take them around for a couple of days and 
see what we're up to. I've got a few little errands to run, but I think we should be okay. So, yeah. Set a fun weekend. Hope everybody's doing okay anyway. And uh, if you and that life is treating you kindly. Uh, right, we want number 25. Okay, oops, I don't know if you can see these or not. I keep going out of shot, I keep pushing it, and it's gradually sliding on the desk. It'll end up outside in a minute. It'll go through the wall. <laughs> go through the wall. Oh dear. All right, so looks like we've got most of these colours already. So that's good. We like to uh, use what we've already got. And then number nine. We have a look. Is number? Oh gosh, I can't read that. Must be twenty six because I've already got twenty five. <gasps> I think I might just be able to squidge these in. It's a little bit full, but uh, maybe next time I'll. Well, we'll see what we've got in these. I maybe have to do another bag again. Oh dear. Oh no, not more bags. Say it's. Uh, you start off with a small amount of things, and you think I'm not going to fill a room. Uh, I'm not going to buy loads and then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so number 10 is J and that is number 29. All these lovely green colours, as I say, they always use more than one or two colours. They do like to just get that shading and that depth, just that little bit more. It's just that attention to detail, I think, that sets Craft Buddy apart from some of the others. So, I don't know whether they're hand charted or not, but they certainly do look really, really good when they're done. Um, everybody does like them as well once uh, I send them out. But as I say, I tend to then have to go and buy them again and do them for myself. <laughs> <laughs> right, number 11 is number 74. So, yeah, we've got a 74. Oh, we've not got many of those. Oh, now that's a different colour. That's gone wrong somewhere. Okay, yeah, we're definitely 74 there. Ooh, okay. We've got two 74. Ah, right. Okay, yes, we have. We have two number 74s because I think at some point that one I've either put the wrong letter on it or it's ended up with the wrong letter at the factory, don't it? I don't know which one. So I keep that one as number 74 as well. I've not gone through and colour matched. But I also have the main bag with 74 in, so it's a good job I checked. See, my system does work occasionally. <laughs> oh dear. Fun and games. So there you are. Number 74. Oh, I think I've got somebody huffing at the door. Just a second. Oh, it wasn't Millie, so do 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 do. <laughs> so I have no idea who it was. Just sounded like Millie sniffing under the door as she does when she wants to come in. Right, anyway, back to these. Number 12 is 77. I seem to have a lot. Oh, no. I'm thinking I've got number 14 there. But no, it's because I've still got all the other bags as well there. Look. So, number 12, I want 77. Ooh, we haven't got R now, then. We haven't got a 77. So, do we think that one might be 77? Oh, no, that one's a different colour. No. Ooh, okay, so. No, it's a different colour. Oh, actually, is it 78? No, it's a different colour to that one as well. So, okay. So, we want number 77. So, we need a new bag. And we want a label. And it is 0, 77. Oh, there's a lovely black bird singing at the moment. I love listening to the birds. And that I'm looking at robins and then I've got a blue tit to do next ta next one. And then the birds start singing outside. It's lovely. I love going out in the garden when it's just sunny, slightly a little bit cooler. And uh, listening to the birds just singing. I love it. Just peaceful without car engines revving in the background. I hope there's nothing wrong with his car. Maybe there is. That's maybe why he was revving it. 
sounded all right anyway. Well, as much as I know about cars. And then the last one on here is 82. So yes, we do have an 82. Okay. So yeah, this was all crystals and we've got this one all put away. Uh, oh, we've been having quite a bit of fun with uh, the birds that come to the garden at the moment. Or my birds, as I call them. Because, uh, yeah, we have uh, bird feeders now at the back and at the front of the house. So, yeah, keep them all well fed. And believe me, they are well fed. <laughs> so that's to go in my little log book. I'll keep that with the card for now. Okay, and then these can go back downstairs in my little box to use again on the next card that I'll be doing. Put all the rubbish in the bin. And I say the next one is this gorgeous blue tip. Look at that. They're so pretty and they're so tiny as well. And it's all these snowflakes in crystal all coming down. I think that's really good. Contrasting with like the reddy brown of the bark on the tree. And then we've got three colours. There's the four. Yeah, I think I think it's three colours that we've got on his little chest here and then all his different colours to give you your depth and that actually is a very very dark green on his back so you just get that slightly different colour. Oops got one upside down there let me just get it back the right way around yeah I am apt to with dark colours I can't quite see them properly sometimes and I can put them on upside down. <laughs> But he's so cute. I think these will make really nice pictures, actually, as well. When you get, like, the ones with the larger animals on, the larger birds, or the little, even the little scenes, I suppose, as well. But I'm just thinking a little picture and just do a few of them on the wall for winter. I mean, it's not necessarily Christmas. It's more of a, a winter scene, isn't it, with the snow and everything. So, yeah, right, let's get your little gems put away. I think this one was all crystals as well. Very pretty little blue tits, I don't like them. And then you get the ones that have the uh, black stripe down the tummy and they're a little bit bigger and they're called a great tit. And then there's a few different ones as well in the uh, family. But yeah, I just love the little tiny blue tits. They're so pretty and uh, so tiny and delicate. I do like feeding them. So at the moment on our bird feeders and um, what I tend to do I put seed in the back garden because Millie will eat the seed although she, she did when she was a puppy a little bit that was fun um, but yeah because when it goes through as you can imagine coming out the other way it was uh, not the prettiest sight yes but uh, anyway she <laughs> she um, will eat the fat balls and uh, our previous Scotty dog Maisie as well um, we learnt from her that when we used to get the fat balls, you know, in the little nets, she used to buy them in little green nets. And when they get so small, they drop through the nets, all the birds break the nets open. And then the, the fat ball would fall on the ground and uh, Maisie would then bring them in the house because she wasn't a really greedy dog as such. Um, I think terriers tend not to be, oh, excuse me, it was Millie. Let me just open the door. It's coming in. Was it you before I opened the door and you didn't come in? Oh, go on then and say hello to everybody. You're just getting in your bed. Just say hello. No, we're not talking today. We're just going to settle down. Oh, we're huffy because I didn't open the... Well, I did open the door the first time you came in. But then you weren't there and I thought I was hearing things. But then I did hear you squeak at me. So, yeah, maybe you'll need to squeak a bit louder rather than just under the door. <laughs> oh, dear. She's got straight out of her bed again and gone somewhere else. I don't know where she's going. It's not that big a room, this, but it is quite warm in here today, even with the window open that I can now open. Uh, yeah, so Maisie used to bring the fat balls into the house. But the thing is, she was very much, she would bury her food and uh, yeah she would bury them wherever she decided so we had one buried behind the cushions on the settee and i got to bed one night and put my hand under my pillow as you do you know and there's a fat ball buried Ugh, a half-eaten manky fat ball underneath my pillow 
and that was the end of that. I said, right, we're not putting fat balls out where the dogs can get at them anymore. Uh, yeah, so with Millie now, uh, any fat balls go in the front garden on the bird feeders and uh, only seed and bits of bread and stuff that Millie won't eat go in the back garden. <laughs> oh gosh, it was horrible. It just It was just all, ugh. anyway. So yes, that was the end of that, but we do like, right, so B is number 18, what number 18? Oh, she's sat on my feet now. That's not the best place to be. That's going to be a bit warm as well. Possibly uh, a little bit uh, cheesy as well, Millie, because it's very, very warm. <laughs> She's just sat on my feet. Oh, dear. Anyway, so, yeah, um, with the bed feeders in the front garden, we only used to have them in the back, but as I say, we, we moved some. And I've moved them now so Hubby can see them as well. So he can sit in his chair in the living room and see the birds outside as well. They can be quite entertainers at the moment. Um, it's all the babies that are sort of growing up now that we're getting. And uh, we've got all the baby starlings. Because you know they're the babies because they're still a lot brown and fluffy and they don't have all like the speckles on like the starlings do. And uh, yeah, they squabble like mad. The noise that they make because they all want the same one. You know, I've got several feeders, several sort of like hanging things with the fat balls in but they all want every single one um, that the other ones want. So they're all squabbling away and they bump chests and they get really, really mad with one another. It's quite entertaining to watch. And uh, the other day, um, a pigeon decided to land on the bird feeder and the pigeons just sit and eat the food all day. I mean, honestly, they're just eating machines. What number's that? That's number 20. Is that 28 or 26? It's 26. We'll go with 26. No, oh, maybe not. Let's have a look at 28. Oh, no, it's definitely not 28, so it is 26. <laughs> Tell you, my eyesight. So, yeah, um, and this pigeon sat there and it's eating away. And all of a sudden, this great big horde, well, I say, probably about nine ten uh, starlings all decided to descend on the bird feeders all squabbling and carrying on and one landed on the back of the pigeon well i've never seen a pigeon look so huffy in its life it sort of fluffed up and it turned its neck round and shrugged its shoulders and well, it wasn't moving though it was eating that food and nothing was going to move it but uh, yeah i got really huffy about being stood on <laughs> I don't know who was more surprised really the starling that had stood on him or uh, the pigeon that suddenly got you know oh i'll just use this as a leg up to get this food <laughs> I tell you the things that go on around our house it's just crazy but, uh, yeah and they're eating through oh lords and our neighbor say who and the friend and neighbor who uh, looks after millie for us when we're at hospital and things um yeah, he puts fat balls out in his front garden and the pigeons are so lazy that they actually walk across the road. So they don't actually decide, oh, I'll fly from his bird feeders to ours to see if we've got anything different or better. Um, they just walk across the road because we're like diagonally across from him. And uh, yeah, the other day they walked across and I'd not filled them back up yet. So they sort of like walked across, looked up, and you could see them looking at each other thinking, oh, there's nothing here. We've walked all this way. And now we're going to have to walk all the way back again. <laughs> so they just turned around and went back. Oh, dear. It's better than television some days, you know, just watching the animals. Right, what number's that? I must start bringing up... Uh, we're on number seven, which is G. So that's 48, 49 and 50. Right, I must start bringing up a magnifying glass or something. I am struggling to read these numbers. Either that or start printing them out a little bit bigger. Right, take that out of that bag as well. Yeah, so we're having fun at the moment. I think I said 49 and 50, wasn't it? So, oh, have we not got a 49 and 50? We haven't, so we need two new ones, right? Okay. Uh, two stickers. And I've put my pen down somewhere. So 
so I want oh forty nine and oh fifty. It's not like I can lose my pennies. It is so sparkly. It was uh, a friend mail, a beautiful present from Chris. So the lovely Chris. Uh, yeah, I hope you're doing okay, Chris, uh, if you get to watch this. Yeah, she's a lovely lady. Doesn't live too far away from me as well, so that's always uh, really nice, nice to know. Yeah, number eight is H. Just checking I've got the right ones. Okay. So that's a new number. And then number 50. Oh, it's there. I was going to say, I'm sure there's another colour and I'm one missing, but it's there. Do you know? If I can't see a bag of drills, I've got no chance of seeing small numbers printed out on a sheet, have I? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Millie's back on my feet again. She's definitely having a good shuffle round. Right, and then we want number 80. So have we got a number 80, 78, 79? No, we don't have an 80 either. Oh, I have to find some bags now. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get new numbers. So I want to... Oh, did I not put 50 on the, ba on the 50 bag? Where is that then? I didn't, do you know... Can you all shout a bit louder, please, and tell me when I'm doing these things wrong? <laughs> oh, I'm going balmy, look. That one's number 48. So they're number 40s. Oh, I've ended up with two number 50s now. So they're 48. Oh, dear me. What am I like? They're 49. Let's take that one off there and put that one on there. And that is number 50. There you are. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> so then I can just turn this sticker now into number 80. Because hopefully I can just do this. Oops, do it on a flat surface, Liz. There you are. So that's turned that into number 80. So I've not wasted a sticker. <gasps> Dear me. Yeah, you definitely need to shout louder when I'm doing these daft things. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear it's a good job i haven't got tons to put away because i'm obviously not with it today i'm gonna blame the weather i'm british i'm gonna blame the weather <laughs> so that is that one all put away and i can put these bags back onto their little clip oh that's a really big paper clip goodness me don't really think I needed one that size, but anyway, I'll put it on there for now and they can go back downstairs again. And that's that one done. So let's have a look at the next one. I think the next one is a mixture. Just pop these in the bin. Put the pen back over there so I can try and remember where it is. So let's see what we've got in this one. And uh, this is just such a pretty scene. And Again, I've added an extra to this one. So it had the plain white and I just thought that this deserved to be an AB white. So I've used my Aurora Borealis, it's like little pearls. These don't have any facets on them. I've used the ones without the facets, uh, just so that it's just got a little bit more sparkle on the snow. But the charting on this donkey's got, just look at all that shade in there. Absolutely, and a little doggy just come to say Merry Christmas in the snow and then it's just the crystals are just literally all of the holly leaves around the edge there around the corner so oh and the dog's little collar there as well just has some little red uh, crystals on just to stand out a bit but yeah I think that's super really love that picture so I've got a friend who would really love that one as well so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, that's the little picture. 
eight are your standards and then we have oh hang on let me turn it around eight, and then nine and ten are your standard resin drills so I'll put those back into there with the little picture with the key code on so I can put all those away and that one as well that's just a little extra picture oh, and those extra bags gosh that's a lot to put away and then we've just got a few little crystals to put away so oh and I need the key code please <laughs> I think I ought to start again never mind so number 11 is number four. Ooh, this is our real full one, but we have made another bag, so that's probably a good job. So we can get this one put away. So that's number 11. Number 12 is number 25. Okay very limey green colour, very sparkly. Okay. Oh, I feel uh, quite good about myself being ready for Christmas already. <laughs> I don't know, I'm nowhere near, but at least I'm getting my cards done. Uh, 26 is this one, so I'm going to have to definitely do another number 26 bag, so let me get my uh, little stickers and bags out again. So we want uh, 0, 26. These, these stickers are from uh, Rebecca Admorzest as well. Okay, so we'll put these in. And second bag, so do you? Hang on, in you get, in you get. Oh, look, there's always one. Come on, get out. Get out, get out. Oh, sorry, Millie thinks I'm talking to her now. She's just dug her heels right underneath my desk as if to say, I'm not going anywhere. If you're not moving, I'm not going. <laughs> so we'll put some of those in there as well. And we'll put some of those in. Oh, we've got the magpie around somewhere. Yeah, I had the magpie on the bed feeder the other day. I would have thought it was too heavy for it. Uh, all the birds scattered though because uh, magpies can be quite vicious um, beautiful looking birds but they are quite uh, nasty and do eat other birds and other birds eggs and things so yeah i know it's only nature but uh, yeah i just think no i'm not going to be friends with you so <laughs> okay, duck. so that is another one done there put those back in there and on to the next one which is another one of my lily favorites look at that uh, again this was all uh, resin gems but what i've done is i've actually used some of my spare just plain crystals for the snowflakes on his present it was supposed to be white and I was going to do them in the AB white. And then I thought, oh no, I'm going to put sparkly. I'm going to have sparkly crystals on it. So just a, another little added extra there. But yeah, he's absolutely gorgeous. He's a little baby penguin. I like penguins. <laughs> so I think these actually are all resin. So I don't believe we have any of these to put away, but we'll double check. I don't think I put the crystals in here. There wasn't very many colours. I think this one was only... Oh, it was ten colours, so it was quite a few. Let's have a look. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. Six, seven. Eight, nine, yeah, and ten. So, yeah, it's just all the standards, so... There's no crystals or specials to put away on that one. Okay. So 
but yeah, I think he definitely looks better with the little bit of sparkle. Obviously, it's pre personal preference. It could have been just an AB, or I could have just used the standard white the same of his, as his face, but just thought he just needed a little bit of sparkle for Christmas. And then finally, today's little offering, uh, number 15, because it's the 15th of June today, uh, is this gorgeous Robin, and that is so pretty. I love Robins. We do have a robin that comes to visit us and it's so friendly it'll come right up to you to see what you're doing when you're gardening he's always around somewhere just to have a bit of a nosy to see what's going on so we did have one special i think in this one and i think it's two different colors in the green crystals so we can get those put away lovely to do all the shading and everything on that to get that depth of colour for his red little chest I think it's lovely so yep 13 we've got oh which is the little red ones and 14 and then we're one two three four five as you can see we've got loads left six seven and that's number 12 eight where's number nine eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so, yeah really fun to do i'm trying to think what the one is i think it's a cat sorry it's a c80 because millie's underneath my desk uh, and she goes mad if she hears the c80 word so yes yeah, she probably knows what i've just said as well because she's far too clever for her own good but uh, yeah so I think it's it's that one. It's like a black one in the middle with all the uh, greenery around the edges to do next. That's tomorrow's. So we want number 26 again. So, yep, it's a good job we did an extra bag because we've got more to put away. Yep, there's the right colour. Just a very subtle difference in the greens. Um, yeah, it's very easy to get them muddled up. Okay, so that's, oops, get out that one. And then the next one is 28. It's the eights and the sixes that I'm having trouble with. So that's number 28. Okay, and then that's all our crystals put away. And we just have the one large red to put away. And that's Y078, which I think is the one we had on one of the previous ones. So uh, we know we've got a little bag for that one. So that is those all done. And popped away over there. That's an escapee gem. Put those back into there. Yeah, when it's um, a little, it comes in a little bag on its own and some of the specials, uh, I tend to just leave it. Um, in the little bag that it came in rather than putting it in one of the numbered bags uh, and then I'll just keep these little bags afterwards so I just want out of my red rounds in my specials oops why 78 got more than one left on this one though quite a few in this little bag okay so that is that one done as well So, not quite such a long video today, uh, but uh, a little bit longer than the last one. <laughs> not as long as the first one. Though. Okay, so that is the start of my Christmas cards for 2023. Goodness me. So we now need a hashtag if you're still with me. And I'm going to give you the hashtag this time. Hashtag Robin. So if you want to be entered into the giveaway at the end of June to win one of those lovely A4 cards and uh, to get a little goodie bag as well then if you put a hashtag robin in this video then you'll be entered into that draw so good luck everybody right well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up You'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now